Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I would film a what's my current favourites video. I have a few. Most of them are like skincare, face sort of stuff. I actually have like two accessories so I might do like a fashion favourites another day. I'll just get started. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is these eye patches or well, eye masks. It's a Bulgarian rosewater eye mask and I got this from Nudie Glow. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Nudie Glow, but I think it's like a Korean skincare site. They sell all sorts of skincare, really cheap. And yeah, like it's just really cheap and really good stuff. If you read the reviews on a lot of the products, a lot of people have done reviews and a lot of the reviews are like five stars. So my cousin Angel actually told me to get these. And this is what they look like. They're good for anti-wrinkle and brightening. It comes with like a little spatula. So you just take the lid off and that's them there. Like how stunning. And you can put them anywhere on your face. Yeah, they're so good. I, I keep this in the fridge and I just put them under my eyes before I do my makeup. I literally have gone to my brother's coffee shop with these on and also to other people's coffee shop with these on and I just give no fucks, like I don't care. Let me look after myself. But yeah, they're so good. I highly recommend them. And they were literally, it was $27. $27 and you get 60, you get 60 pieces, like for $27. They also have Afterpay, so guys check it out nudie glow a really good skincare site and they do heaps of like um face masks and all that sort of fun stuff so definitely check them out i want to order like a lot more from there that was actually the first thing i've ordered from there so definitely going to order from them again so the next thing i wanted to show you is i actually got this for my birthday thank you viv these dr dennis gross is that how you say it dr dennis gross i think so these are insane like i'm not even talking shit like insane this is like the five pack or the five treatments and i've used it and every time i used it i swear to god it was like instant results like in the morning even better results i swear by these me and my boyfriend actually want to go halves in a 30 packet which comes with 30 treatments but it's $140, so I'm like, oh, it's really expensive. Just for the five treatments, it's $27. But maybe buy this first, try it out, make sure you actually like it before you go and spend a lot of money on like the 30 treatment packet. Yeah, so what it does, it helps smooth fine lines, minimizes the look of pores, and improves the appearance of uneven tone and texture. And I can tell you now, it does all these things. Um, so good like i wouldn't even buy it again if it wasn't that good like they are really good i cannot wait to buy them even yosep my boyfriend i let him use them and he like loved it like he's happy to go halves with me and just share it because they're really good and he hates skincare he hates all that shit. i always try get him onto it and he doesn't budge but these he liked so girls if your boyfriend needs something these are literally for men and women they're so good I'm trying not to swear but it's just it just comes out okay next thing while we're on skincare my dr spiller collagen cream i literally all my skincare products are dr spiller i don't have all of them here just this one i use dr spiller as my cleanser for my toner i recently just bought a dr spiller serum so i'll definitely give some feedback back on that but yeah this is just my collagen cream i use this every day it is really thick. You literally need the tiniest, tiniest pea size drop and it will cover your whole face. Like it is so, so good. This lasts you so long. It is very pricey. Dr. Spill is not cheap, but you pay for what you pay for. Quality products are not cheap. So, and I'm ha it's my skin. I am happy to pay a bit more money on my skin because my face is something everyone sees it's something i have to wake up to every day so this is really good if you have like dry skin or you just need like a boost of like collagen or like hydration like this is really good so highly recommend dr spiller and again while we're on skin products let's get to like the tan so this is a hydrating facial tanning mist so this is from sahara soul 
I don't know if you can see. I don't know. But yeah, it's from Sahara Soul. It's a hydrating facial tanning mist. I used to use the Paradise, Birds of Paradise, or it's like oil drops from Mecca. And I just found I was getting heaps of blackheads. It was just really oily. Whereas this is literally just a mist and you can spray it before bed or like before you go out if you're not wearing makeup for the day. It just gives you that natural glow. It's so good. I'm almost out, so I need to buy more. But yeah, this is really good if you have a white face like me and just want a bit of color so that when you do not wear makeup, you don't look like Casper. Because yeah, when I go to work without makeup, without this, like people literally think I'm sick and I'm just over it. Definitely get this if you want a nice face tan and natural and not too many chemicals. Another product that I use when like I'm not wearing makeup. So this is like my no makeup makeup. Well, it's not really makeup, it's tinted moisturizer. So this is the Garnier, like guys, this is from Coles or Worth, like Garnier BB cream. This is so good. It's like five in one daily moisturizer, but I mix it with the debronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. Sorry, I had to like read it. I forgot what they were called for a second. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, these are so good. This is just like one of those like little pack bottles that you get in the packets for a gift. I literally am gonna buy a big one because I'm almost out. I had two of these though. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy a big one because you can even mix these into your sunscreen. So that's another good thing with these. It just gives you that tan. Like, it honestly, you need to try it. Um, but yeah, you usually mix these too. But I actually, I should probably show you this too. The sunscreen that I use. So the sunscreen that I use before I put these two products on is so that after all my skincare, I then put on my Ultraceuticals sunscreen it's 30 plus it's a hydrating one but they used to have one that was 50 plus and that's the one i was using for ages like this lasts you so long and i put it on literally as a primer before i do my makeup every day even if it's raining i still put it on every single day but they actually don't do the 50 plus they might actually because when we got this was a while ago and they said the reason they didn't have the 50 plus is because they were remaking remaking it so they didn't have that they only had the 30 plus but this still does the job any sunscreen guys you need your sunscreen put your sunscreen on so yeah i do that and then these but before both of these i do my dr spiller products and stuff i might do a skincare video for you guys so you can like see it all so the next thing are my lips that i've done today Sorry, they're really, they were really dry this morning because I sleep with my mouth open. So when I breathe, it dries my lips out so badly and I do put like a lip mask on before bed, but when I wake up, my lips are dry. But yeah, that's why I've done a gloss today just to like, I don't know if it, I didn't have the gloss, you'd probably see how dry they were. But yeah, so these are like my current favorite lip products that I've been doing quite a lot. This is from LA Girl. It is the color Keep It Spicy. And it's a wind up so you don't need to sharpen it which is super handy when you're going out and stuff but it's this really nice like brownie red color all my lipsticks are literally this color but i really love this la girl um i actually stole this color from zagona i don't know if you guys watch her youtube she's one of my favorite youtubers check her out but yeah i got that idea from her and then this is just my laura mercier lip gloss um they actually sent this to me it is the color sparkling so lip glaze and yeah i really like it it's just gives you that shine and that glittery style but yeah these go really well together so yeah that's my favorite lip combo at the moment actually about to sneeze <coughs> okay so the next product is I've wanted this for so long. My sister has it, Gracie, my friend has it. Um, a lot of people actually have it. And I remember smelling it in the store because we are choosing a um, perfume for my boyfriend's mum. And we got her, I think it was like the black one. But when I smelt this, I was like, that is gonna be my next perfume. I literally love it. It smells so good. I'm just gonna spray some right now. It is so good, guys. You need to smell this. Go into the store and smell this if you haven't. But yeah, it's the C from Giorgio Armani. 
the baby pink bottle with the black lid it's probably my favorite perfume right now and yeah i love it and thanks grace for getting it for my birthday i'm so spoiled i'm literally so spoiled but yeah and another perfume that i got for my birthday is if you guys want one from zara it's just this one here ebony wood it's got a little Jo Malone quote on there but this one like I'm so fussy with perfume so I'm shocked that my friends got this right but this smells so good like this is right down my alley this is my kind of perfume wow it almost smells a little bit manly but I love it like I don't like flowery sickening perfume smells um, I like more mask musky I don't know how else to describe it apart from musky but yeah I'm not really like a flowery I like sweet so I love all the Ariana Grande perfumes I have every single one so I love all of those they're like my everyday ones these are like going out ones because they're a bit stronger and a bit more expensive so I don't really want to use this every day these are both my current favorites which I got them for my birthday so I never really buy my own perfume to be honest um, I always get them as gifts which is really good like I think perfume is the best gift to give someone because who even buys their own perfume am I the only one that doesn't buy my own perfume and just has them as gifts let me know down in the comments okay so the next thing that I'll show you are my Prada sunglasses I got these a while ago but they're still my current favorites like out of all the glasses I own I use these ones the most. These are so nice. They were from Sunglass Heart. I bought them a while ago and they just go with everything. Like literally they're so like mum vibes. <laughs> like gonna pick up the kids from school. But I literally love them. Like they're just so classy and brown goes with everything. So they just go with any outfit bathers, jeans, if you're wearing like a suit. But yeah, it's they're just literally so versatile such good sunglasses i love them they're my first pair of prada sunglasses and i'll definitely buy them again they were i think around 400 dollars but sunglasses heart they always do sales like honestly i only own like two designer pair of sunglasses pairs of sunglasses so these are my favorite though i also have those dior ones which i'll do a maybe a designer haul another time of all my favorite ones that I have but yeah I just have to show you guys I love my Prada Sunnies definitely a really good purchase and it hasn't gone to waste because I use these all the time um so the next item that I want to show you is this really cute bag this is from ASOS it was really cheap it was like $40 I don't know if it's gonna say the brand it probably isn't but it's some brand because oh, I actually have a site but anyways the ASOS sell it so it was like $40 and I just love it I find myself reaching for this bag a lot because a lot of clothes I wear is like all black or all white and this just literally adds like a pop of color to your outfit and it's really cute it's like a perfect size it's nylon so if you dirty it it comes off easily and I'm just loving colored bags at the moment. So I just had to get this. And eventually I do want a Prada one. I want like a colored Prada one. Um, but for now, this does the job. This is super cute and I literally use it all the time. So definitely another good buy. Okay, so we're up to the last two items now. These are both candles. I'm like, ever since getting my own house, I'm candle like been like i literally live for candles i love candles everyone who has their own place will understand actually even if you don't have your own place you literally probably put one in your room to i think everyone loves candles right anyways this is from cleanse and co so i actually got this for my birthday as well i should have done a what i got for my birthday video but my birthday was in august so i'm like it's a little bit too late to do that this candle out of every candle i've smelled in my life like that's what it's called there smoky quartz it's the best smelling candle that i've ever smelt like hands down and i haven't even lit it yet because 
I'm the st I'm a stingy candle user. I'm so stingy with my candles. Let me know down in the comments if you're also so stingy with your candles. Like, I'm not one of those girls that light it every second. Like, I just like oh, I don't want to. I don't want to use it. Like, I know I can just buy another one. It's not going anywhere. But I think I need to light it. I probably will light it tonight. But it's the smell is that strong that I'll be watching TV because it's on my coffee table. And I can literally smell it and it's not even on. So I can only imagine how good it's going to smell when I put it on. I think I'm going to put it on tonight. Tonight's the night to stop being stingy and light this candle. And last but not least. I don't know why people say that because it is last. And then they say but not least. Like as in. But I'm showing you something else. But like I'm not showing you something else. Or am I not understanding that quote? I don't know, I just say it because everyone else says it. So last but not least, I feel like everyone has this from Peter Alexander. Caramel Crunch, surely everyone's got this. Oh, oh my God, this this one I have lit. This one I have lit. This is, yeah, from it's a glass house one. It's from Peter Alexander. I'm sure you can get it from other places or online. I love anything caramel, anything vanilla. Like this is just my kind of smell anyways guys that's all i have for my current favorites there are probably a lot of other things that i love which i can do this video again down in the future i have heaps of videos coming i'm just gonna keep posting i'm not slowing down anytime soon so sorry if you're sick of this face already you're gonna keep seeing it well you probably don't have to keep seeing it because you can just not watch my videos but yeah that's awkward and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i will see all of you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching